servant. And, uh, good, good day to you. I'm trying to get out of this uh, saying Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, because we're calling on pagan gods. And if you're a follower of the Most High, you're the follower of Allah, the true one and only God. When we say Allah, when we say Yah, the expression. See, when you express your heart and your truth, right? Allah, Yah, Allah. When you're expressing yourself in your creative nature, and you're saying, hey, today is Monday, today is Tuesday, and you're saying you love Allah, and the only Allah you serve. You have to think about that. Um, there's another one. When you say uh, you, you serve the Most High, and He is your only King and Savior, and He will you always remember. When you say September, October, my birthday, my birthday is January 36th, you have to understand that you're not calling on the Most High's dates, you're calling on the dates of your slave masters and captors and those who created the civilization. So I want to bring up a point that I've been. Uh, all we bring, all we bring stuff that is applicable. Remember, Ken, folks, if you cannot apply it today, it never happened. So that way, it gets away, it gets away from myth, it gets away from uh, illogic, it gets away from all this mysticism. So if it, if, it, if it can't be that, if it can't be applied, if you can't see it happening right now, like bringing earth to heaven and bringing heaven to earth, you know what I mean, making them connect, it, it didn't happen. It's it's it's, it's not real. It's a figment of your imagination, maybe a figment, it could be a figment of my imagination, but it's not real. So everything we say and do, it has to be applicable. Go on that. So now, let's get back into the application of this thing. Now, we all know that our so-called American history was from, from the Confederate flag. Right? And everybody wanted to burn the Confederate flag, but then everybody wanted to say something about the American flag. But both, nobody knew the down south flag, the flag of the Union, were both Confederate by every word of meaning. You say, what you mean, Hosea? Yeah. Well, we'll get we'll up the word Confederate, it's an English term. According to this, that dictionary, the origin was 1350, 1400 English. This is, this is going to push y'all wig back, right? Check it out. This is, hold tight. You got to get a hold of this. We're getting hot. I'm getting hot again. Thank you, Father. Oh, the Heavenly Father, I ask you for permission to speak to the children. I ask that you would guide these words. I ask that you would let these words bring you glory, Father, and that you would uplift us and help us to break the chains of our own ignorance. And we ask that you would just guide us according to your will, that our will for you is best will. For your truth is our only king. Say that. Now, this is what Confederate means, and according to the English and the British and the European and Caucasians, that everybody says that they hate. And which is born of our Constitution of America, our Constitution, whatever. Okay. It says, Jim, Tim, I see what I'm like, see on my screen. I got to trust me, folks. I've been wasting time doing that. I'm going to read it out the dictionary. Origin, 1350 to 1400. It's Laya. According to their small implications, united in language, alliance, or conspiracy. So that means the down south was conspiring because they was in the Confederate. Confederate means to conspire. So when the Union was fighting, with the, and they had the British and the Europeans thing, they had it more or less like a Confederate, which was... You broke? Get that. So when when, when, the, when the Union, which is the star bango Spanner garbage, they had a Confederate. And so they had a conspiracy, a United League, and an alliance. So. History, we're thinking that these is two different Confederate and unions fighting against each other, but meanwhile, it was one of the same fists, Republican and Democratic of the same birth. So we go back to the meaning. Number three, relating to Confederate States of American Confederate Army. A person, group, nation, etc., united with others in Confederacy and ally. Four, a compliant, uh, accomplice. Especially a mischievous criminal act. The rape and the Americas, islands, Leo, Mexico. Confederates. But where did these English people get this from? Where did these modern monkeys this idea from? I will get back to you into this line. You see, I'm, I'm over on the, on the books, all right? I don't know if you see that. Uh, 
This is part of the research. And you can do it yourself, but we're going to help you get along with this. Now, Wikipedia calls so 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 Suki. This says, and this is in home. Oh, this is, it looks like this. You can get your Wikipedia. This is where Confederate means informed English. This is before Britain, the British Crown and all that. This is before the, the American States Constitution, Revolution, and all that. This is before these things that we come now subjugated to. This has a lot. This is, this is really going somewhere. Those who are going to hang out with you with this. And by the end of this video, you should be able to free yourself if you do go the proper steps to, to pull out the old Roman institution that is the, the is the mother and father American Constitution. Maybe you knew that. That American Constitution is so weak that it can never stand up against Roman's Constitution because Rome, Greece, influenced. Well, the Greeks gained it. You might want to watch football today. They created the laws, Greek laws, Socrates, you know, and all that. They gave you academia, and then the, the Europeans, the Eurasians, they take up. The Greeks and Romans stole from us. Whether you're from Mispa, Eden, however, it still comes from us. We still want family. So, okay. Latin, English, lies. The autonomous tribes and the city-states of the Titan Peninsula, permanent military alliance, the Roman Republic, till the Social War of 91 to 88 BC. Now hold up. Did you just tell us in school that Confederate was in the 1350 to 1400s? But meanwhile, this was before your Christ. So there had to be a Confederate. The Romans came to Israel, to Ishmael, and they made an agreement. And it's in writing. The Khazarian Jews and all the enemies of us, and some of the folks that didn't like Rome too much what they was doing, took the names and stripped it, and so they took the words, get our white privileges. That's why they say we're the ones who called white. See, the privileges belong to us, according to this. I'm going to get to it, because this is the book of uh, Maccabees. And if you go to your, the so-called to your Bible, but go to the prophets. There's a book called Five Books of Maccabees. And this is filling the blanks between Rome, Greece, Europe, uh, Islam, uh, uh, Egypt, Pharaohs, all that. Now, let me jump, jump, let me jump back in history real quick. For anybody who wants to argue about the validity the he of the Hebrew and this book, this round or that's Egypt connection that's through the guy called Ray Kehu Ajar. Kehu in the book of Asher. He is the first Pharaoh and he was Arcadian. He was a descendant of Abraham's great great grandfather. Ajar is his daughter. and live the way they live because of Rekayon, who is bloodline. Word is written, thou shalt not wound thy brother, or is an abomination. And that's why the devil has you killing your own brother. That's why the can and able influence that it's okay to kill your brother, it's okay to kill your sister, it's okay to do that. Get back, I'm getting off the topic, I'm sorry about that. we go, all right. And so, in this conflict, all Romans, but this is Italian allies, Awarded Roman citizenship. Now check this out. Roman citizenship. So that means that there is a contract, there is a covenant, and in Rome's own words and of their own kings and Caesars said it was a covenant forever. And this is the same verse that told you that God, that Jesus made a covenant and saved your blood forever. This is the same Roman Catholic who, who said, I control the sea of what? Sea of life. The universal what? Church. The body. Man, they made a covenant. The people of God. Peace. Okay, peace game. I'm going to go into this other, I'm going to read some stuff out of you. I had a book of Maccabees, five books of Maccabees. And I'm going to let you, you, let you see the book itself. Let you see that it's a real book. All right, let me see what we have to get. 
لا And this is where it gets firm about uh, uh, connection between the elves and the bays and the Moabites and the Hebrews and the Romans and all these things. This is how it becomes uh, delegated amongst the Asiatics, what we call Asiatic Hebrew Muslims. That's what we all we all Asiatics means the people from the land of the rising sun. Asia means land of the rising sun. Asiatic means the people from the land of the rising sun. Not mother. Because don't you pray, don't you praise your black skin? So if the sun rise east, you know first black person rise in the east too. First colored person rise in the east too. And so that means you what? You said? I the sun, melon, yeah, her people. Hebrew who submitted to what? The creator made that sun rise. East, they give you that beautiful skin. Muslim, because you submitted that. You live that way. You live in appreciation that the creator of the sun that give you your melanin, help you to rise early in the morning with the sun of what? Hear with me. Remember, you have to lie. That you may do your bidding to the planet to create things without guard particles and through this beautiful thing we call Earth. So that's just the relationship with that. And if you can't apply that, then I, I, don't, I don't know what planet you're from. Because you can actually see it, you can apply it, and you can do it right now. What I just said right now, you can do it right now. And if you see on the commercial, you can get up on the TV, outside, you can do this right now. You can see the sun rise in the east right now. You can get your skin in the melon and feel that right now. You can feel the power of the connection between the sun and you and the earth. Right now, you can feel that. You can see that. Matter of fact, you hang your hat on that. So, let's get back to this um, this deal right here that the Romans had, had to deal with. Uh, where's my page at? Where's my page at? Alright, now, now now we got that um, uh, that part. Let me read some things to you guys. So I hope somebody's watching. You're going you to benefit from it. Now, this part is for Smell and Israel. This is not for the heathen, for those who want to engrave themselves. But this is something that's going to have to happen. Whether it's more power, yeah. black power, yeah. uh, conscious community, yeah. FOI, NOI, Christians, Baptists, whatever it is, all those bad words and names are going to have to fall in order to do this. And you're going to need some pale skin Romans. You're going to need whoever in power to make peace agreement, to make this covenant. Or remember, this covenant. Glory to the Most High. But it said that Judas uh, chose Epidorus, the son of John, the son of Achios, and Jason, the son of Elasia. Elasia is in your scriptures. Uh, now, this is this is a story concerning what, what's the condition how, of our slavery coming out of um, West Africa and out of Syria. And he said that uh, it says, Elijah and sent them to Rome to make a league of amity and confederacy. Uh oh, there's that word confederate. Confederacy, allies. Okay, so they wanted to make allies, right? How you know what confederate means with them? And to entreat them that they would take yoke from far, excuse my tongue, they would take from them all, for they saw that the kingdom of the Grecians did oppress Israel with servitude. Isn't that a coincidence? Why the pyramids or that is, is um, decoded in Greek? Isn't it odd that the Hebrew writings decoded in Greek later translated into what? Latin is the history. This is why this is why everything is translated from Greek to Latin to English to blah 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 to, 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 to. the same thing where everything is translated from Greek to Arabic. Arabic to Aramaic to Luapian to da, 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 da. They conquered the whole region, brothers and sisters. So don't get it messed up. So now, here's one of our oppressors. The Grecians oppressed Israel with what? Servitude. So who taught Europeans and the British and our modern day slave masters? The Grecians. Who do you like? Whose football games you like watching? The Grecians. Who do you go play tennis for and, and jump and joy and go buy their coach and sports paraphernalia? 
the Grecians. So you're keeping them, you're keeping them rich by keeping them in servitude. But I don't think you're feeling that right now. So we'll keep reading. They went therefore to Rome, which was a very, very far journey, and came into the Senate where they spake and said, Judas Maccabeus and his brother and the people of Israel, not Jews, of Israel have sent us unto you to make confederacy and peace with you, and we might be registered confederates friends. So let the matter please the Romans well, and this, the copy of the epistle, with uh, look at that word, epistle. Where's the epistle of John come from? Where did the epistle of Mark come from? Where did the epistle of Jesus come from? Where's the epistle? Well, this is before they was even born. Wake up. So, Senate wrote back again in tables of brass and sent to Jerusalem that there were, might have been a, a memorial of peace and confederacy. Good success to good success to be the to the Romans and to the people of the of Israel and see and by land forever. And it swore also and the enemy be far from them. Why isn't that being happening right now? What happened? It does not happen. It says there came first any war upon the Romans or any of their confederates throughout all their dominions, the people of Israel shall help them, and at the time shall be appointed them with their heart. Now isn't it ironic why so many people are Christians or Catholics? Because you sold, you made an agreement. Your head people made an agreement. And it was a covenant. But somebody broke that covenant. I just want to share that part with you. So there's a law going on. Let's see if we can find another one. Oh, this one's fuzzy. Dang. Okay, here we go. Now check out, check out what they else they do. And, and, and this, this, this can't get gruesome, and they don't tell you about these things. Now, after the death of Judas, now remember that in, in the New Testament, they made Judas the betrayer of Jesus, right? He was opposed to betraying Jesus because Jesus wasn't for Israel. He was created being to something else. He wasn't even about the people. So now, after the death of Judas, the wicked began to lift up their heads to all, all the coast of Israel. In the book of Maccabees. Get it. Get it. I don't want this to go too long. But, um, so Israel became wicked. And so they broke their covenant with Rome. They became stiff. And they, when most High gave them a way to make peace, they didn't want peace. They decided to do other things. And so they were been chased down. They were chased down for many, many years. We find another one. I'm trying to find one where this says the year. I know one of them says it was the year 153 BC. So that means Christ has hadn't even come yet. So actually, when they talked about in Isaiah that the that the sign virgin child, he had already came, who wasn't so, so called Jesus. That prophecy had already been fulfilled because Zechariah was already around at this time. I.e., it says that he said. It was once 155, 160 something BC. BC means before Christ. So we got this guy, Matches, who's going around chasing Maccabees. And he's supposed to be a Hebrew. Move. See, so we're, 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 we're killing ourselves, killing each other for our honor amongst our slave masters. Okay, here we go. Moreover, in the hundred, the third year, the second month, it was commanded the wall of the inner court of the sanctuary would be pulled down and he pulled down all also the works of the prophets you see why we, we don't have any history all our prophets because they burnt the books they tore them all down they, they took up all the works they dismantled everything the most high let them dismantle everything so you wouldn't even know what a prophet is so you got everybody self-proclaiming prophet but there's attributes and things that go with that Oh, let's find another one. All right, let me find this other page. So there's just something fresh that can't come up on me. So I had something told me to hey, get this out and share with you. Now, everybody talk about under the Great about Egypt. When you read this about Alexander the Great, 
It said, in the 160th year, Alexander, the son of Antiochus. Now, anybody who knows who's a Bible thumper, in the book of uh, Acts, Antiochus was the ruler over Syria. And he's the one that gave the name Christian. And after that, his brother, his father gave him the name Lami. Here we're going to read it. A hundred years, sixty years, Alexander, the son of Antiochus, see Antioch, the road, the city of Antioch is this, is come from Antiochus, surnamed Epiphanes, who went up to who went up and took Paulinus, which was one of Alexander the, the Greeks uh, kings, for the people, and he was here about means way of and something else. But Josephus, but for those who are Bible thumpers and scholars, Josephus writes about this. It says, namely, has the uh, top of Demetrius. So, what did you do to go fish that too? The little inland, if y'all can catch that. All right, so now, we got two things going on. We want to find out, how did you become Christians? Who, who named you Christians? And so, we got, we got Antiochus, top of Alexander. Find the scripture, though. This is, this is what I'm going to find, the scripture. Where's that scripture? This is going to push our way back. Uh... Yeah, meet that scripture. Meet that scripture. I mean, I guess I, I post. I post it on Facebook. We'll, we'll post it some more. Roman Constitution. Uh, here it go. This is in Acts chapter eleven, verse fifty-five, and I let y'all see it. Uh, this is in your. This is in your scriptures. Right here. I hope I can get that close for you. Now, this is in your scriptures. Now, we introduce you to Antiochus. He is the first Antiochus where the word Antioch comes from. And he created the city and all the places. He created the city of Antioch in Syria. He created the city of Greece. And I think he has one in Rome. I think he has about three or four cities. And his sons control that. But this is what they said. This is the writing. This is where... I don't know why you keep calling yourself Christians and follow the Christ and all that. Because these Grecians and Romans tricked you. They put you in slavery. It's in the Maccabees, people. Now, this is what it says. A signal for you. And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves the church and taught much people. Disciples were called Christians first. Antioch, chapter 11, verse 25, 27. I repeat. And these days came prophets from Jerusalem to Antioch. So our people went to Antioch and took up the name Christian. They gave up Hebrew, Israelite. They gave up the, the, the blessed name of Israel. They gave up the blessed name of Hebrew. They gave up the blessed name of Asiatic. For Christian, and they gave you Jesus or these other pagan gods. Now, read one more time. And when he had found him, he brought him unto Tiah. He prepared the whole here to assemble to go to the church and taught much people, and the disciples were called Antioch. They was called Christians first. There. Now let's go back. Maccabees. Now, oh, oh, let me show you too. You see this? I typed in Antioch in the Bible. See what it came up. See, we got to get that in there. See, Antioch, I'm reading you out the book of Maccabees. Uh, you see Antioch. Uh, I'm sure you see Maccabees. Somewhere, or is it over here? Oh, here it go. Maccabees. So Antioch in the book of Maccabees. Antioch is in the book of Acts. Antioch is in the Old Testament. It's in the New Testament. So you can't argue with that. So what did they say while they was in Antioch? What? How were these people treated in Antioch? Let's see what's what's, what's going on in Antioch. So we see, it says right here. Okay, we, we got one here. 
The Greeks who had colonized the coastal areas of southern Italy from 700 BC onwards, which was known as the Romans as Magna Graecia, Greater Greece, for that reason. The Greece colonies had the most advanced civilization in Italian Peninsula, and much of it was adopted by the Romans. You see where you get Jesus and all these different gods from? And so the Romans adopted it. They said their language, although Indo-European, was quite different from Latin. City states and territories as maritime cities. Remember that maritime law? That's Roman constitution, that maritime law, maritime cities. The Greeks' primary military series was, uh oh, naval, like your naval button. They invented the best warship of the ancient world, the uh, Triene. Some of the original Greek co colonies, such as Kupa and Kume, had been subjugated by the neighboring Italian tribe, becoming Oscan speaking in the period up to 264 BC. So 150 years later, right, Alexander goes up here for the Antioch. And another 150 years later, up in, in Syria, Antioch, they call you Christians. Now you have to figure out their Christian name, what we're gonna do about these other people on this side of the planet? We're gonna start calling them Islamists. That's heavy. I know somebody y'all ain't doing, y'all wanna read this, y'all don't wanna hear this, huh? And so, I just wanna give y'all some, some, hey. some heads up. I really want to go into something a little deeper, but I don't want to suck up all the time on here because I don't want to draw this out. But let me give you a jump. The American Constitution was built from Roman Constitution. Google it. Look it up. Search it. If you can find the, the if you can find a Roman constitutional law that is applicable and being used in modern day America. Do you have power to do something? But even in the Mac Book of Maccabees, they had to get up, they had to fight. And some of us is gonna to have to die so some of our children can live. You know, every, every, all through history, somebody has always built their own city. I watched a movie called, now in, in Maccabees, this guy Judas built another city. His brother Jonathan got up and rebuilt the city. It is the so-called black man uh, going to start building his own city with his own materials, with his own hand work, hard work? When are you going to do that? And I think you won't do that because you're going to have to defend it. And some of you don't want, don't want to die defending what's right. It's easy to defend what's wrong. So where is this other one at? Uh, I, I, I don't go through it right now. But uh, if this makes sense, share it. Research it, let somebody know. Uh, uh, um, but if it don't make sense, if you can't find the research, if you can't make the links, let me know. Say, hey, he's a brother. Oh, was it? Uh, check this out, man. Now, this one, you know, I'll this up. This, this don't make no sense. We don't have no facts. There's no dates. Nothing to link this up. So we gave you Josephus, date 165. Uh, and we gave you another date. We gave you dates, resources, people, places, and things. We gave you scripture. We gave you history. We gave you all the ways to link that up and find out for yourself how to free our people and how to get allies, how to get, how to be a confederate, how to get a confederacy. Because this is what so-called black man and black woman needs to survive. You have to become a confederacy. You have to get along with somebody. You, you're gonna have to, you got to earn somebody's trust. Just like if you're in the hood, and you know, you can't you can't go to Killer Mike's hood, and he don't trust you. You can't go to nobody's crib, and they don't trust you. You can't, you can't, you can't even get hang out with nobody, they don't trust you. And so we're just telling you so-called black men and black women who's about black power and more power and fighting and talking about we dying all this. We dying because you don't have no allies. And nobody's coming to save you because you're untrustworthy. I didn't say it, written. It's in scripture, it's obvious. And this is what's happening to us. And so I implore anybody with money and resources and things like that, get with another group and get with your resources. Then get with another group, get with your resources and create 
a Confederate document. And then take that document to Rome and remind Rome that, hey, when we fought in your wars, you made an agreement. And so you're here to fight in our wars, and so we need the Romans to fight against these greedy, greedy British and these fake Calzarian Jews. Okay. Because that's who they're fighting, believe it or not. Yeah. A moment, a moment, job, to just you and your job. May the most have keep y'all safe, peace, and to the power of the Holy Spirit I come, we say, say, la, we out.